find the radius and open interval of convergence of the following power series. So let me write in this way. This power series is same as uh, what is the power x to the n. So let me put that here. And then we have negative 1 to the n. n is square on the top and 2 raised to n on the bottom. n going from 1 through infinity. And we can say oh, this is just constant c n, nth constant. And here is x to the n. So here we got cn is this, negative 1 to the n, n is square over 2 raised to n. Then the next constant, cn plus 1 would be negative 1 to the n plus 1, n is square means n plus 1 is square over 2 raised to n plus 1. Now we got both constants cn and cn plus 1. By an application of the ratio test, the, ra the radius of convergence is given by limit n going to infinity of, so it will be opposite, so cn over cn plus 1, absolute value. Uh, let's evaluate this limit. This absolute value takes care of this negative 1 to the n and negative 1 to the n plus 1. So they are gone. So I don't have to write absolute value anymore. Everything else is all positive. So cn, so n is square over 2 raised to n divided by this. That means same is multiply by its reciprocal. So I got 2 raised to n plus 1 on the top and n plus 1 is square on the bottom which is limit n going to infinity of n is square times 2 raised to n plus 1 is same as 2 raised to n times 2 raised to 1 or just 2. On the bottom we got 2 raised to n and n plus 1 is square. Uh, we can multiply n plus 1 by itself but that's not needed. Now we can see we can cancel these two. So this limit, uh, 2 raised to 1 is 2, which is independent of n, so we can pull all the way outside if we like. Limit n going to infinity of n is square over n plus 1 is square, uh, which is 2 times, uh, let's find this limit. If we expand on the bottom, n plus 1 is square is just n is square plus other minor terms. When n goes to infinity, the limit depends on the leading terms. So n is square, n is squared, just 1. So the limit is 2. That means the radius of convergence, that radius is 2. And looking at x to the n, this x to the n, uh, we got center 0, because x to the n is same as x minus 0 to the n. So this is the center, center is zero, okay? Now, since we have the center zero, and we know the radius is two, then we go two units to the right, and two units to the left, and get the open interval of convergence, negative two to two. Inside this interval, the power series converges outside diverges. Uh, what happens at these endpoints? Okay, we are not asked to do that in this question because we are only asked to find open interval. Uh, you may watch the video linked below to see what happens at these endpoints. But for now, we are done. Radius is 2, negative 2 to 2 is the interval of convergence.